Hello, today I'll be going over gold mining problem number four of the June lunchtime 2020 Division 2 from Coach Jeff. So the problem statement is that Chef and Jeff Wu work as gold miners. There are a total of N gold mines numbered 1 through N, and for each valid mine, the ith mine contains GI gold in total. If Chef worked in it, it would take him AI days to completely mine it, while if Chef Wu only worked in it, it would take him BI days. So each miner can only work in one mine at a time, but can start in one mine, switch to another mine, and two, both of the miners can both work in the same mine at a time. And they choose to mine their mines independently from each other. And they both have the goal to mine the maximum amount of gold they can. But the thing is, if two miners are mining in one mine, the amount of gold gets split between them for the time they mine in it. So for example, let's take the test case. So the first number here is tells us how much gold is in the mine. So in mine one, there is 10 gold. The second number tells us how long it takes for chef to mine it. This is known as A of I. So it takes chef one day to mine all 10 gold in that mine. The second parameter tells us how long it takes for chef Fu to mine it. It takes them one day to mine all 10 gold. So what we want is that both of the miners mine the mines optimally such that they get the maximum amount of gold. So in this case, say both miners start working in the first mine because they both have the same rate. In this case, Chef will get a total of five gold out of this mine, while Chef Fu will get a total of five gold as well. Let's look at the next one. Both of them, let's say both of them mine the second one because the rates are the same. In this case, Chef gets 10 and Chef Wu gets 10. In the third one, we can do this similarly. They both have the same rate. So let's just say they both mine the third one. In this case, each will end up getting 15. So in the end, they will both end up getting a total of 30 in all of the mines if they mine optimally. So now let's actually go over what this optimal strategy is and how we actually got to the number 30. Before we start, let's go over how to calculate how much gold each person gets if both of them mine together in the same gold mine. So we know that Chef will end up mining G gold over A per day. Basically, the amount of gold divided by the amount of days is the amount of gold he earns per day. Similarly, Chef Wu gets G over B gold per day. So this means that together, if they both mine in the same mine, they will get G over A plus G over B gold combined in one day. So now we take the amount of gold we have and we divide it by this. And what this value is, is basically how many days it takes or how much time it takes to, for them to mine all of that gold. And the reason why is because here we have G, the amount of gold, and then here we have the amount of gold they mine per day. And what this gives us total is how many days it takes for them in order to mine all the gold. So now that we know how much time it takes, we can just multiply this amount by their rates to see how much gold each person gets. So by this logic, Chef will get G over G over A plus G over B times G over A gold, which in this case, actually, if you do the algebra, will simplify down to B times G over A plus B. And similarly, Shafu will get G over G over A plus G over B times G over B gold, because this is his rate, which will simplify down to A, times g over a plus b if you do the algebra. So the main solution is that Chef and Chef Wu will work in the same mine at all times for optimization for both of them. And the way we can actually prove this is through an example and using logic. So in this case, we have two mines, one with 10 gold and one with 20 gold. So the first mine is much worse for Chef Wu because he gets a rate of five gold per day. While in the second mine, he will get a rate of 20 gold per day. So therefore, in this example, Shefu will opt to go in the second mine. That way, Shefu will maximize the amount of gold. However, Chef knows that Shefu will go in the second mine. 
So what Chef will want to do is that he knows that this is the best mine for Shafu. So Chef will mine in the same mine as Shafu, so that Shafu gets less of a profit from that mine. So in this case, Chef and Shafu will both go to the second mine. So that way, Shafu gets less profit out of his best mine. So this is basically like a game of sabotage because the gold doesn't go away. So if Shafu gets less gold, then that means that Chef will get more gold. And this is similar for Chef. Let's play it the other way around. Let's say that Chef picks his best mine. Chef knows that in the first mine, he gets 10 over 1 or 10 gold per day. In the second mine, he gets 20 over 3 or about 6.66 gold per day. So therefore, Chef will opt for the first mine. However, Shafu knows that he will opt for the first mine. Therefore, Shafu will go to the first mine and mine with him to give him the larger disadvantage over his best mine. So that way, if Chef works in his best mine but is not able to get as much of a profit, then the rest of that profit, which he should have gotten, goes to Shafu. And then now Shafu can work in his best mine. And this will keep on working for both of the players. So at the end, Chef and Shafu will work in the same mine at all times. So really, the main way to think about this is if Chef gets less gold, then Shafu will get more gold. And vice versa. So this is the optimal strategy for both players to play. And then with this strategy, this leads us back to the statement that Chef and Shafu will work in the same mine at all times, as we have seen in our example. Now, the code for this is actually quite simple. It's just more of a brute force. So I'm just going to show you the entire code all at once and explain each line. So here we have an integer t and we input into t. This is the amount of test cases. Then in this while loop, we're going to run. We're going to have an integer n and input into n. This is what these two lines do. Then we're going to have two doubles, one for the amount of gold Chef has and one for the amount of gold Shefu has. Over here, we have a for loop going through all of the mines. And with the for loop, we generate three numbers, the amount of gold, the rate, or the amount of days it takes for Chef to get all of the gold, and the amount of days it takes for Shefu to get all of the gold. We input into those three values, and then we just simply apply the formulas which we found in our solution and add that amount of gold to each person for the optimal solution. So this is really just a brute force. And then in C++, if you print out this, see out fixed show point and see out set position seven, and then you print out both of the values, it will print out all of the seven decimal places. As stated in the problem, you're going to need decimal places, and this is the way to do it in C++. Now, if we go ahead and submit this, we do get a correct answer. 